Defense of Schwed Bridgehead The defense of the Schwed Bridgehead was a German Third Panzer Army operation on the Eastern Front during the final months of World War II. German forces, commanded by Otto Skorzeny, were ordered to prepare to conduct a counter-offensive. However they were forced to hold a bridgehead against expected numerically superior forces of the Soviet Second Belarusian Front for 31 days. Their position was largely ignored during the Red Army's Kotbus Potsdam offensive operation which breached German defenses at Garz to the north of Schwed. This was unexpected because it required the Red Army to cross the Randau Bruch swamp that lay between the Oder and Randau rivers. The Germans feared that the advancing Red Army would cross the frozen Oder at Schwed, about 60 miles northeast of Berlin. The commander-in-chief of Army Group Vistula, Heinrich Himmler, was planning a counter-offensive from Schwed. On January 30, 1945, he ordered SS Standard Tenführer Otto Skorzeny to prepare for the offensive. The rapid advance of the Red Army meant that when Skorzeny set up his command post on the right bank of the Oder in Niederkranig, rather than preparing for a counter-offensive, he was forced to order that the first week be spent by troops of the newly created 11th Army preparing fortified positions while others were concentrated for the offensive. The position was prepared according to typical Wehrmacht doctrine some 20 km forward of the river, and strengthened with machine gun nests and reinforced trenches. Despite ostensibly preparing for an offensive, the 3rd Panzer Army troops, including the XSS Corps, were short of supplies and weapons, lacking heavy machine guns and artillery. Makeshift artillery was produced by mounting anti-aircraft guns on trucks. It proved useful in harassing the Red Army's 61st Army by giving them the impression that the Germans had large artillery units. After the ice on the Oder was blown up by pioneers to make crossing more difficult for the advancing Red Army tanks, a similar strategy was employed using guns mounted on river barges. Skorzeny later credited this use of mobile artillery with gaining enough time to sufficiently fortify the bridgehead. The initial troops began to arrive early in February from the Kurland pocket, they included the 4th Panzer Division, the 32nd and 227th Infantry Divisions, elements of the 16 SS Corps, and other SS units. The first encounter battles were between the screening German infantry, and the 2nd Guards Tank Army on January 28 which was pouring now like a torrent north of Notek River towards Kustrin, when elements of the 9th Guards Tank Corps probed the positions of Kampfgrupp Void east of Piritz and 18 km east of Schwed. As the 2nd Guards Tank Army turned towards Kustrin, the encounters between patrols from the German 56th Jaeger Regiment and the Red Army's 89th Rifle Corps on February 1 intensified. As of February 5 the number of Red and Polish Army's forces had grown so much that German probes behind enemy lines were no longer possible. Once the 2nd Belarusian Front troops had captured the railway in Bad Skonflice, they received a steady flow of reinforcements by train. However, unbeknown to Skorzeny, the Red Army reinforcements were those belonging to the 61st Army and the 1st Polish Army of the 1st Belarusian Front's northern flank. They had orders to bypass Schwed and attack in the direction of Eberswald. They also masked the movement of the 2nd Belarusian Front's 49th Army which would attack north of Schwed. Extensive deception operations, and the rapid tempo of advance meant that the German command was largely unaware of the switch in forces, or the true direction of the impending assaults. For much of the time they were under the impression they were facing a major armored thrust while the 2nd Guards Tank Army was replaced in line by the 5th Shock Army, including the preparation of 136 T-34 Mach UPS. These deceptive measures were hampered by the previous deception conducted by Zhukov in the final stage of the Vistula Oder strategic offensive operation. After fighting to the north of their position, the 9th Army, which had replaced the 3rd Panzer Army, had to fall back from its forward defences and on February 7 the evacuation of all villages outside the bridgehead began. Two Red Army battalions supported by T-34 tanks conducted a daily reconnaissance in force as this evacuation took place. On March 3 9 German army forces abandoned the Schwed bridgehead, having fruitlessly awaited the orders for a counter-offensive and not having witnessed the expected Soviet attack on their positions for over a month had assumed new positions on the western banks of the Oder. 
the Soviets captured Schwedt on April 26 after German troops had withdrawn to avoid encirclement following the commencement of the Cottbus Potsdam offensive operation on the April 19, by then the city was severely damaged. The commander of the 11 SS Panzer Corps later stated that there was no strategic purpose in the defense of the bridgehead, but that it served a tactical defensive role and misled the advancing Soviet armies into believing that the Germans were preparing a counter-offensive. The order of battle was largely the same as that of the forces being assembled for the expected offensive although the army subordinations were changed several times. They come from Zhukov at the Oder, the decisive battle for Berlin by Tony L. E. Tissier.